Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how to split data by rows. I'm Ashish Mathur and you may visit my website ashishmathur.com for other MS Excel solutions. So here's what the data looks like. I have a simple two column data set with some um, machine numbers appearing over here and with some security center codes appearing over here. So it's a two column by about uh, 195 row data set where you'll see that for every machine number mentioned in column A, there are up to 11 codes appearing in the next column. And the number 11 is not a constant one. If I scroll down, you'll see, let's say for the last one, there are more than 11 codes over there. The format of the codes in the right hand side column remains consistent. So there's a, it's, they all start and end with a semicolon and in between um, there are semicolon separators for these different security codes. Now let's say I have to upload this into um, an ERP and that ERP does not accept a data structure like this. That ERP would instead mandate that the security code should all be mentioned one row below the other and there should be only one security code appearing per cell. In other words, if there are arguments sake 11 security codes appearing for this particular machine code, so they have to be 11 rows of data, one having each security code with ABEHS appearing 11 times. So I basically want to, you know, explode this data set into a lot more rows than what they currently are, simply because each security come, a code will come in its own cell. Now, this is in principle something similar to what we do by a text to columns in Excel, just that you, when we use a text to columns feature, we actually split the data into multiple columns. Here and we have to split the data into multiple rows instead. So the way to actually solve this problem with the help of Microsoft Power Query is something like this. So I'll select the data set over here and I'll go to Power Query. I'll say from table. And um, as you can see, somehow Power Query has misjudged my um, first column heading over there. So it's given column one and column two as headings, whereas the headings should actually be number and security code centers. So I can right click here and I can say used first row as headers there. Okay, so just as we have a uh, text to columns feature in Excel, we have a split column feature in Power Query. So I can right click here. I can say I'd like to split the column by delimiter, wherein the delimiter here uh, could be the semicolon. And when I click on OK, it actually um, shows my data split into multiple columns. So, so far there's no difference between um, Excel text to columns and split column in Power Query. And if I go down this first column, you'll see there are blanks appearing over here. So I actually don't need that column. I can simply go remove that column from there. And if I go all the way to the end there, once again, let's see what's here. Okay, so I do have an entry AMT. I can't delete that column. And I likewise have a VPS there as well. So now what I could do is I select this first column I scroll all the way to the right, shift key, select till the last column. The first column is still unselected. I can right click and there's an option there which says unpivot columns. I select unpivot columns over there and I get the structure that I'm, structure that I'm looking at. I don't quite need the attribute column. I'm only interested in the number here and um, the value here. So I can right click, click on remove. And as you can see, there are blanks appearing for, I mean, there, there's some blanks appearing in this column, which I don't see much use of. And therefore I can simply uncheck the blanks from there, click on OK, and I'm good to go. I can now give meaningful headings here if I so wish to, so I can rename this to machine and I can right click and say um, security codes here. Once I'm done, I can simply click, say, close and load. And another worksheet would open up in the same workbook, um, which essentially does a text to rows um, operation from me, for me. So I have 2,323 rows over here, whereas in my original list, I had only about, about 195 odd rows of data. And to top it all up, the best part about this feature is that the data is refreshable. So if I go to, if I, if I go and edit entries over here, if I add further rows of data over here, all I need to do is right click here and do a refresh.
I hope you enjoyed watching the short video. Thank you.